huge fight for Shavkat Rahmanov, the pride of Kazakhstan. He is kind enough to join us now, right now for a few minutes alongside his co-manager and translator in this uh, particular case, Sayat. Uh, Shavkat, thank you very much for the time. Good to have you back on the show. Thank you. Sayat, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Um, Shavkat, a lot of people... And thank you, Syed, uh, as always, for the time. Uh, a lot of people, when this fight was announced, thought, oh, you know, they're putting Wonderboy Thompson in a tough spot. They're trying to kill off Wonderboy Thompson because you're so good, you're so young, you're so talented, and you're good at everything in MMA. What was your reaction when you found out that your next fight would be against Wonderboy Thompson? When you were with Thompson, many people thought that Thompson is put in a difficult position. He tries to put him in a difficult position. Вести, потому что ты опасный молодой проспект. Когда тебе сказали имя соперника, какие у тебя были мысли? Осын қарсы емес деген білдірген кезде жекпешек айшалыға. Мен өте қауышта болдым. Стивен Томсон жасы үлкен жауынгер болған менде өте мақты. Оны топ 5-тен, топ 10-тен шығаруға болмайды. Ол өте мақты жегет, өте керемет жұмыс жасайды. You know, first I was supposed, scheduled to fight Kevin Gastelum and he pulled out for, uh, because of injury and it was understandable. But then I started to hear that Stephen Thompson is willing to fight me, and I was just glad that uh, he he wanted to fight me because it's hard to get me a fight. And uh, even though he's uh, on the older side, he's 40 years old, I still believe he's a high-level athlete, and uh, it's not easy to get him out from top five or top ten. So I was just glad that someone accepted the fight with me. Um, as you said, your last fight was in March. You were scheduled to fight in September. Gaslam pulls out. And you just alluded to the fact that it's hard to get you a fight because you're so good and, uh, you know, you, you destroy all your opponents. Has this been a frustrating year for you, the fact that you haven't been able to fight for the last nine months? Uh, has that been frustrating? Последний твой бой ты провел в марте, потом ты должен был драться в сентябре, бой сорвался, и сложно было найти соперника, потому что ты очень хороший боец. Как бы то, что прошел такой большой перерыв 9 месяцев и то, что тяжело было найти соперника, как-то тебя раздражало, сбивало или нет? Арине Харслав, Келгон Гастлум қабылдан кезде мен де қуанышта болдым. Шықсы одан одан ары қарай ол жарақат алып, шекпе жекке шықпай қалды. Әйе түсініксіз жағдайлар болды. Шығама шықпайтын екенін біз білмедік. Сондықтан да бұл енді спорт болғандықтан ары қандай жағдай болуы мүмкін. Бәріне жақсы ой мен қабылдаймын деп ойлаймын. Көп жағдайда. Yeah, it's true. It's hard to find someone who's going to accept the fight with me. I heard that a lot of people are turning the fight down. And uh, when Kelvin Gastelum accepted the fight with me, I was happy. Yeah. But then he got injured and, you know, it happened. It happens in the sport and I understand that. So I didn't have any, like, uh, bad thoughts or was uh, interrupted by that. But it's understandable. The injuries happened. So I was just staying patient and waiting for the another opponent. Uh, I'm I'm wondering what's at stake in this fight, Shafkat. Have have you or your management been told that if you win this fight, you could possibly be next for the title shot at 170? <laughs> Арене, ол Стивен Томсон жеңген жеңгенін соң, тағы да бір қадам или титулға дайым деген сөзді үйге болады. No, I didn't have this conversation or any promises, but all I want to say is that I'm already ready to fight for the title, and the win over Стивен Томсон will be another reason to prove that I'm ready. 
Um, Syed, I'll ask you since uh, you, you know you, you would be the one to ask. Have they said that? No, 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 no. Not. Okay, nothing. Obviously, there's Bilal Muhammad, who is uh, the backup fighter on uh, on Saturday. Would would you be disappointed if you have to fight someone else after this fight? Bilal Muhammad страхует титульный бой в эти выходные. Будешь ли ты разочарован, если тебе нужно будет еще с кем-то подраться перед титульником? Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't know what's gonna happen after. I just wanna focus on Stephen Thompson, and that's it. And we'll find out what's gonna happen after. Okay, fair enough. Um, can I ask you about a video that came out today? Uh, and I just want to get clarity on it. Uh, did your sister get married recently, and did you have to miss her wedding because you were training for this fight? <laughs> Спрашивает насчет ссоры, вышла ли она замуж и пропустил ли ты, получается, ее свадьбу из-за то, что было на подготовке. Я, 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 Арина, Я, obviously, I'm in the fight camp, and uh, she got married at the time, but everything went well, so. I have to focus on the preparation right at the moment. Sure. I'm just curious, was, was that hard for you to make that decision to miss your sister's wedding? Было ли тяжело тебе принять решение именно пропустить свадьбу? Да, на то и деген жақсы, бірақ бірақ бек-бек біздің өміздің бір дымысымыз ретінде сеттен, сонықтан да мен жек-бек-бек-бек өте Nobody <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. The wedding celebration is good, and I'm very happy for my sister. She got married, and I wish her only the happiness. Uh, but uh, getting ready for the fight, and the fight is my job, and I have to focus on it. And maybe it's even better that I, I, I was here and I wasn't distracted by the celebration, stuff like this, and I just stayed focused on my fight. Uh, speaking of your sister, I, I saw you tweet recently that uh, she will be in the UFC soon. Uh, can I just ask from your opinion how good she is and, and how, you know, how soon you would like to see her in the UFC? Like, do you think she is ready now to be in the UFC two years, one year? What, 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 do you, what can you tell us about her? Говоря о Соре, ты писал в Твиттере, что она будет скоро в UFC. И как бы ты оценил ее уровень и как ты считаешь, когда она уже будет подписана? Мен ол жағын енді бірнеге деп айтамын, қашан қатпысы дейтін, бірақ арена ол бүгін сораның ешіге дайын деп ойлаймын, жақсы нәтиже көрсеттеді, жақсы жекпе-жектер көрсеттеді деп ойлаймын, оны алдағы уақыт көрсеттеді, қазіргі таңда мен не жағдай үйде не болады, қандай ой бар екен білмейін сөйлескен жоқын. I don't know when she's gonna uh, will be signed, but all I know is that she's ready for UFC. And she's uh, have a good level. She's showing great performances. And I didn't speak about her plans yet, but all I can say is that she's ready. Okay. Uh, also, I saw on social media that, um, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you recently met the president of Kazakhstan. Uh, how was that experience for you and how did that come about? I would imagine that was a huge honor for you. Ну и судя по твоим соцсетям, ты встречался с президентом Казахстана и как эта встреча вообще получилась, как она прошла? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it went well. You know, the Ministry of Sport organized this meeting 
uh, the, the main purpose is to get to know each other. I told him about my future plans, so that was basically it. And was that your first time meeting the president? British at Baltimore. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it was the first time. Uh, also, uh, and I've seen you, you. You met the great Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. Was that your first time meeting him? Тоже с Головкиным ты встретился первый раз, или это было? Да, я без была и там футбол Казахстан мин солдат Ирланды командала футбол война в Англии, со Гизи Гизи спорам, со Бердом из была и сорта танин зоны, чай соли сюда не лезет, он. Yeah, we we met at a soccer game. Uh, Kazakhstan national team were playing against Northern Ireland. Uh, we both came to support, and it was the first time I met him. Obviously, I knew him from before. He's a, a very well-known boxer. Yes. Uh, for you back home, when you're back home now, are you starting to get a lot more attention, and are you comfortable with that? Сейчас именно дома в Казахстане на тебе все больше и больше внимания и комфортно ли тебе вообще в целом? Yeah, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously, with each fight, you know, attention is growing and growing. And uh, uh, me being an athlete and sportsman, we get a lot of attention. You know, there's a good side and bad side to it. We just take it as it is, you know, with understanding. Uh, obviously, I would imagine you're going to be very interested in the main event on Saturday. Can I ask who you think is going to win, Leon or Colby? Leon or Colby? I feel like the champion have more chances to win. We'll see. Okay. Um, and I, I had Michael Chandler on the show last week, and we spoke to him about training with you. And obviously, I know that there's a, a lot of great fighters that you're training with at, at Killcliff. Can I just ask why you like training there so much? What is the best part about training there and, and being around all those, uh, you know, amazing UFC Bellator fighters? Mm-hmm. Майкл Чендлер давал ему интервью, и тоже он у него спрашивал про тренировки с тобой, и mm -hmm. именно в Хилл Клиффе. И скажи, почему тебе именно нравится там тренироваться именно вот с, с такими, с большим количеством именно бойцов UFC, Беллатер, там, что тебе еще там нравится? Хилл Арина, Уолзерде, Жаттогушин, Хейдер Хобрутей, Киримет Бабкер, Өте керемет атмосфера, залында сонықанда барлық жігіттер, барлық спортсмендер бір-біріне көмектесіп, жақсы көрінің көймен жекпе-жектерге дайындаламыз. Сондықтан да маң қатты ұнайды, сол жақты дайындалу, өзімді жақсы сезінем сол залында. Кил Клиф ес әжім, ең өз әрі атмосфера, әрі фейтерс, өз 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 And that's why I love it there. I love the the atmosphere and energy there, and uh, yeah, that's what I feel about it. Okay, uh, two last questions for you. This time next year, December twenty twenty four, where are you at in your career? Ровно через год в следующем году в декабре двадцать четвертого, где ты будешь находиться именно, что касаемо твоей карьеры. И пожи кеш конгелит, Казахстан осу, ешин титулны алып барсам деген мақсатым бар, ойым бар, дай қаласа, алла жеткісі. Only God knows, but uh, I, I wish to fight for the title next year, and my goal is to win this belt and to bring this belt back to Казахстан. Okay, and uh, last one. Um, a lot of people are looking forward to the press conference on, uh, on Thursday. There's a lot of Uh, very colorful characters that are going to be involved. Uh, Patty Pimblett and Tony Ferguson and Colby Covington and Ian Gary. Uh, are you dreading being a part of this press conference because it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a chaotic situation or do you like uh, kind of having a front row seat to the circus? Также все ожидают пресс-конференцию, предстоящему турниру. 
так как много будет ярких персонажей, таких как Пэдди Пилблет, Колби Ковингтон, Тони Фергюсон и так далее. Что касается тебя, тебя это напрягает быть частью этой движухи все, или тебе нравится быть на первых рядах в цирке? Yeah, I, I, I understand it's a part of the business, you know, fans love, uh, love the show like this, and uh, I understand that it's a part I have to do too, so we'll see what's going to happen. Okay. Uh, well, looking forward to that, but uh, more so looking forward to your return. Thank you for the time. Once again, good luck to you on Saturday. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Syed. Appreciate it. Sure. Thank you, Ariel. All right. There he is, uh, Shafkat Rachmanov. Syed, what a role he's on. I mean, we could have done a whole interview with him with the guys that he's got. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.